This is David Collier from Ballarat in Australia and I'm going to demonstrate my method of making a leaf tally for you uh, which I did learn many many years ago in the early days of Arachne and I can't remember who from but no doubt I've adapted it anyway. Um, now Mike if you could go down and show the pillow I've just got the two pairs of bobbins here ready to go and like a, a recent video it's always this second from the right that's going to be the worker and the way I do it I use this piece of um, I can never remember if it's celluloid or cellulite but I think it's celluloid I think it's cellulite I think it is too and you don't really need it if you have only got 30 or fewer bobbins but if you're doing bigger works like some of these I've got on the pillow that had hundreds of bobbins the advantage of this is that you can then put these four bobbins on top of all the others and um, don't have to worry about them. So I just slide that under the four and then the secret of maintaining the tension in this telly is that I have a little pinhole here about one inch down either side of the top at roughly 45 degrees and I'll just stick a pin in each of those holes so they're always the same angle because I use the same bit of plastic and drape the outside two around them and they're the two that maintain the tension so I don't have to hold them in my hand and the beads keep the weight on them and when I work making this tally um, I, always, I don't think cross and twist anymore I think over and under because we're weaving. Now this is the worker, so when I go from right to left, it's under the outside two. When I go from left to right, it's under the middle one. And I find it's easier for me just to do it. If I talk, I might stuff it up. So I'll just do a few. And then after every two, passes, that's left, right, left, right, left, then you tension by pulling down on those outside two, like that, and the first one's right at the top. Now we go under the outside two, under the middle, under the outside two, and under the middle, and tension. And you pull down a bit towards your first, and then spread the outside two. And we're slowly getting wider, up to the width of this leaf. This, this thread is also very thick for me but it demonstrates better. Okay. And normally if I was making these in a piece of lace like over there I would be counting the number of passes so that everyone is pretty well the same. Okay. Notice tensioning after every second now I'm about at the width I want, so I do try and do two like that without getting any wider, and now we start to come in. And it's all done by the tension on those outside two bobbins, which you can see are of course English Midlands bobbins, with beads, not continentals. And, um, they work just fine to make a nice leaf shape. And then one of the best clues I ever learned from anyone, thank you Tamara in Lexington, Virginia, that if right now the phone rang or the doorbell rang, you just take the worker and throw it over the back and nothing will move. If you put it down the front, disaster would happen. And it would all go to a straight line, like a plait. Okay, just about there. That'll do. There's a leaf shaped tally. So now I just put that one over the back, take the pins out, move the plastic. And we'll pretend this is going into point ground, so I'll twist the right hand two, three times. And we can just pretend we've got a, 
a pair ready. We'll put a pin up to hold that tally. Tension it nicely. And then just go into the next two. And put a pin. This was if you were going into point ground. And now you bring the worker back. Twist that three times. And you would go into the next pair that's sitting on the left there waiting. And stick a pin. And it's all held fast, ready to continue on. And that's a leaf tally, the way I do it. I'll just zoom in. Okay. I zoomed in before and you could see it okay. quite accurately. Right. And then I can just pull this across if you like and show the whole um, spray of them there. Done exactly that way in much finer thread. Square tallies yeah. are easier to do than leaf shapes, but they're all much the same after a while. Practice makes perfect. Oh, yeah. After you've done a thousand, you'll be right. Thank you very much, David. You're welcome, Mike.